I can't. I can't. Stop it. Stop. It. Give it up for Gordon. Look, he put all this together. He's he's taping it. He's taping it. You can buy the DVD in the lobby. It includes the director cut of his intros. There are three hours of bonus footage. Two hours and 45 minutes is uh, him introducing me. Where's, you, you were making fun of everybody this week. Everybody was high this weekend. The, the Chad Vader guys, their pupils were dilated. You even said Mike Peters was hot. You come from a country that has a flag with a giant leaf on it. <laughs> oh, cannabis, that homegrown native plant. Let's eat some chips and watch SpongeBob SquarePants. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, uh, no, it's uh, it's been a good year, two years for me since I came back from the conference. I started dating again and uh, had the longest relationship of my life, three months. And uh, she dumped me. She left me for a bull rider. It's all right. Um, <laughs> I'm from Texas. I know how that works. It was one of those relationships, like, I really liked her, like, I mean, I, you know, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use the M word, mortgage, but um, I, I really liked her, so when she dumped me, it really hurt. You know, you, everybody's been dumped here before you get that really sick feeling in your stomach, and you want to vomit, preferably not on her, and, and she cried, and I cried, and the whole thing was done, and then it's like, as soon as she walked out of the room, she got on with her life, and I hung on for two weeks like a one-armed man hanging off a cliff with jock itch. Oh, uh, you know, it, it, that's that's guys. That's what we do. Chicks, you let it go. Guys, we're like, you know, uh, she'll be back <laughs> if she ever wants to see her dog again <laughs> in one piece. <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah, yeah, shouldn't do that after the guy that draws the dog comic. That's probably not. I also quit drinking last year. Um, now I'm addicted to lying. I, I, it's not true. Actually, I cut back on my drink. I quit drinking to get drunk. I used to, I, I don't go for the record now. And, because, uh, you know, it, it, there's nothing wrong with getting drunk as long as you do it safe, but it, it just, uh, it wasn't fun for me anymore. And the way I quit, and this is for anybody who has alcoholics or, or you know, if you won tonight and you want to quit, here's what you do. Get your friend, any friend, take him to a bar, get them completely drunk, you stay completely sober, wind them up and watch them go. And as soon as you say, do I look like that when I'm drunk? Congratulations, you've reached the 12th step. <laughs> Here's your chipsy at the bar. I take him out, we go out for St. Patrick's Day to have green beer, we go back to the apartment. He wants to play me his music, the, and he listens to the crappiest music. And we can't just listen to it, he's got to give me the commentary to the music. You know, like he, and, and, he, and of course, given you know, he, he can't do it, he sounds like Yoda, only with more grammatical errors. And he's playing a thing. He's like, oh, man, this is a song, man. This is, this, is, this is what it's all about. This is the world. Dude, it's Weird Al. <laughs> no, man, what you hear? White and nerdy, white and nerdy, man. He's talking about race, man. No, he's talking about you. <laughs> and, of course, when I did get drunk, I got drunk with the worst group of people to get drunk with, uh, my nerd friends. No. Don't ever get drunk with your nerd friends. Get drunk with a jock with a player, with a Kennedy, not your nerd friends. Because when nerd friends get together and drink, they just drown each other in pathetic. What we, what we used to do, we made up a drinking game to Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> I wish to God I was making that up. We, what we do is we'd all pick a category. It had to be our worst category. And if we went around on the board and, and got a question wrong, we have to do a drink. Guess what they picked? Sports. <laughs> I'm reading the card. What sport is played with a football? <laughs> uh, Quidditch? <laughs> they got that one wrong sober. Yeah, speaking of the state of Texas, uh, you may have heard last year there was a little problem in a town called Stephenville, a town so behind the times they still lease caves. <laughs> A town that makes the last picture show look like Blade Runner. <laughs> I'm glad I stole that one for myself. A, uh, apparently a UFO landed uh, in Stephenville on a slow news day. And uh, 
everybody saw this thing, and it, it, and the, the moment it happened, I thought, man, drinks are cheap there. <laughs> Mikey, get the, get the Trivial Pursuit. We're going to Stephenville. <laughs> Give me a beer. My chip at Chick-fil-A starts in an hour. <laughs> See, I didn't roll before that one. That's why the improv was bad. Actually, on a side note, everybody kept saying, you're the Rolf guy, you're the Rolf guy. And it was, it was, you know, it was, it got annoying after the 50th time. So finally I just, you know, somebody goes, you're the Rolf guy, do the Rolf thing. I went, okay, Shh, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the thing that bothered me with the UFO that, that nobody even touched upon. It didn't land. That bothered me. They came from millions of miles away to see our planet, hovered around to see what we had to offer, and took off faster than anything on this planet. It's kind of like when a southern rebel guy drives through like a really bad inner city neighborhood. We've all done that. You drive through a bad neighborhood and it gives you that feeling that makes you remember where your gun is. That's what these guys were like. They pulled up and they were like, Bleeborg, Mebop, Fred, get over here. Look at this guy. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen. I think he's one of their moons. They don't make a garbage bag in his size. I think I know where my anal probe is. <laughs> Glad we didn't do this during dinner. Uh, we also invented something in Texas I'm very proud of. It'll be in everybody's home soon. The invisible immigration border fence. This is an honest to God thing. We, the government, federal government paid Boeing $2.5 billion to build an invisible fence. <laughs> Could we at least like, you know, consulted mimes first before we, <laughs> that would be cheap. We just pay them 300 bucks each to stand at the border and go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a dumb idea. Why are we, you know, we're building an invisible fence to keep the people out who we're gonna hire to build the thing. And it's an even dumber idea, it's more expensive. Now we gotta put shock collars on everybody in Mexico. <laughs> I'm sure they don't say I. I, I flunk Spanish. Yeah. Jeez, this is a stupid issue, isn't it? I mean, it is. I, I, if your point is to keep the dangerous people out, the terrorists out, the people that want to do us harm, that's fine. But if you want to do it to keep the people out who their country sucks, putting up obstacles is not going to stop them, especially on an invisible fence. <laughs> their education system's bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, you know, the, it's just a distractive issue to me. It really has kind of, it hasn't made me apathetic, but I'm really just not interested in the presidential candidates anymore. I haven't picked one because I just, they, it, it seems like we all talk about the wrong things. That's why in 2012, I am hoping and praying one of the major political parties in this country will elect a homeless man president. The Will Caucus for Food vote. Here's his campaign. I'm glad you're all with me on this. That's why democracy doesn't work. <laughs> here's his, here's his, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here's his camp, here's his, here's his platform. One, by electing him, you decrease the unemployment rate. <laughs> Two, the majority of veterans, or the majority of homeless are veterans, so chances are he's got more military experience than anybody we can put in the White House. <laughs> and three, everybody has an equal say with him, because whether you have a billion dollars or a billion dollar, you can bribe him. Anybody can bribe If you've got a handful of change, you're Jack friggin' Abram off. That's my set, but don't forget to tip your meal and enjoy your waitress. Good night.